Warning, you are not watching Siskel and Ebert. You are now entering Wink World. Send Topical back with another video. I'm Strange Wayne today. I'm going to review for Halloween Ends. Before we get into that, please go down to the description box, coffee count, Patreon, all the social medias down there. Coffee count, Patreon, you're going to donate some of that Bob De Niro, that cheese, the cheddar, the mozzarella, that gouda. You can do it right there. Or you can hit the thanks button on the channel, donate through that way. Or if you cheap like Strange Wang, you can subscribe. It's free. And if you do any of that, then I appreciate that. But let's get down to brass tacks. I gave Halloween ends a 2.8 out of 10 wings. Why? 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 Because it's such a letdown when Strange Wang goes to see the reboot in 2018 and it made me, Strange Wang, a non horror fan interested and eager to see the sequel which turned out to be hot garbage still trash that's something i didn't think would ever happen to me with horror especially something non-art related with emotions and things like that like a Baba Duke or a uh, midsummer or i don't know i can't think of horror movies right now but you get the gist but this film was somehow worse than that one. The story is awful. And it's super far-fetched. Why they thought we were supposed to buy into what was happening in this film. But who was me? I feel like the writers said, Hmm. What hasn't been done in a horror slasher movie? Well, this hasn't been done in a horror slasher movie. And they said to themselves, oh, let's do that. And there's a reason no one's ever done that in a horror slasher movie before. And that is because it don't make no more fucking sense. This story makes Michael Myers lose his mystique and mystery, which is the main problem with horror franchises. You have this creepy, iconic character coming out the gate, whether he's a Freddy Cougar, Michael Myers, Leatherface, whatever you want to call the motherfucker, which whore icon you're choosing. But they have this mystique, this mystery, because most of them don't speak. And you keep making movies of them. You have to keep putting things in the plot. And because the plot decisions it makes, it should be a simple story. But it's confusing as fuck. Just like Halloween ends. I got a question. What in the blue hell is Michael Myers' motivation in this movie? First is the house. The first movie, he just wants to kill motherfuckers. Or it's the house. Probably the house motherfuckers in this house wants to kill them. Makes sense. And then they lead it to Lori, and then it's really the house. He gets to the house, he kills someone in the house, and then he disappears. But he comes back to Lori in this movie. What's his motivation? He's got to have something. And it doesn't really explain it at all. Why don't these cocksuckers just fucking move? Trauma means in any other fucking movie, not any movie, I would say at least uh, 7 out of 10 movies, someone's traumatized by something. They fucking move. You got 47 ball sniffers that are traumatized folks in this goddamn movie, and the film decides all 47 of them? Nah, they ain't moving. They gonna stay here because of memories. Fuck your memories. That's a bullshit, dog shit, terrible fucking reason to make these traumatized victims stay in Hattonfield. That's a bullshit reason. It, it makes no damn sense. The only good thing to happen in this movie is the end fight scene between Laurie Schroeder and Michael Myers. But honestly, there's nothing special about it. But after seeing an hour and 45 minutes of complete dog shit, the smallest glimmer of hope, well, it's exciting. Horror fans, honestly, I think they're really going to enjoy what we get in this movie with the end fight scene and everything because it wraps the story up very nicely. It has a complete end. It makes sense. It's logical. But Strange Wang, me, fuck that. Mid-filmmaking, bad storytelling, and overall, this movie 
It just fucking sucks. Like a prostitute. Oh, man. But you tell Strange Wang what you thought about it down in the comment section below. I gave it a 2.8 out of 10. What did you give it? I don't know. That's why you got to tell us in the comment section. Scroll back up. Hit a like button. Share the video. And then what? Subscribe.